This is Duke University. Global trade and environmental Being justice. Human rights issues today. are still... The term Ubuntu. A the Alien and Sedition accident. He's making inferential discoveries. The importance of an archive. The John Hope Franklin Center. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Uh, I'm Sam Iglesias. Uh, I am an alum, twice over, and, and now I'm a research associate at Fuqua. Um, and the tool that we developed uh, was, was renamed yesterday Feedbacker. <laughs> Feedbacker. Hot off the presses. Hot off the presses. Uh, and, and, and in class, what we've been doing is, is brainstorming. As you can see here, we've got <laughs> one of the exercises we did was very rewarding. And uh, so we, we cobbled together this tool. Uh, how many of you have been in a setting like this? Oh, you can't see. The chalkboard's filled with math equations. <laughs> A lot of people. Okay. Well, we decided to create a tool to, to help people, and we had a few goals before we started. Because uh, you might be thinking that we have something like those plastic remotes. Everybody remember those plastic remotes that people sort of everybody hated them. Okay. So so before we started, we wanted something that was that was much better than that. So the first thing we needed was platform independence. Something that anybody using. Is that chime bad news? <laughs> no. Okay. We wanted platform independence, which meant that anybody with a mobile device that's internet capable can use it. Okay? We want it to be easy. We want something that people can use with their mobile phones, iPod touches, Androids, whatever, and their desktop computers. So a lot of people are bringing laptops to classes these days. We want something where there's no registration required because, you know, we, 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 we don't believe in trapping users. We want something that's real time. And most importantly, we want something that's open source, okay? And we went through and we did all of these, we think. <laughs> so here's what it's gonna look like. So you can imagine that when you're giving a lecture that you have a certain amount of traction. You can graph it kind of like a, like a stock uh, uh, over time. And <laughs> I think people who have taught have probably been in a situation that looks like this, crash. <laughs> So we want a way to visualize this, okay? So if everybody could, please go to this URL. If you have a mobile device that's internet capable, you don't need Flash. This is going to be an HTML5. And, uh, and uh, check it out. It's super simple to play with. So here's what we created. Okay, wow, I've got a lot of people connected. Now, um, let's go through what these different lines mean, because this is pretty cool. As a student, and this is in this prototype, uh, you have three states you can be in. You can be up, which means I get it, down, which means I don't get it, you've lost me, and middle, uh, what we call a neutral state, which is you're still processing. You can't commit to one or the other. You're still trying to, still trying to process the material. And this is a live feed, so everybody's sort of hooked up to this in real time, nothing to install. And you can report your condition in here. It, it, and again, this isn't how the final thing's going to look. This is just a proof of concept. You see here we have down, neutral, and up. And you can click anyone to sort of change your state. See that? And this top line here, this red line, means how many total people are logged in. So the closer the green line is to the red line, the more percentage of students you have who are, who are reporting that they comprehend. If that makes sense. Not close. Huh? <laughs> they're, not, they're not agreeing. Oh, people aren't. I said, all right, there we go, there we go. <laughs> We're getting, uh, <laughs> wonderful. So I just clicked it like 10 times. Did it take me 10 times? No. no, it didn't. No, you have one state. See that? So we could have someone who doesn't get it pressing down 100 times, and that would completely obscure the results. It'd be a race to see how many times you could hit it. So, so, so everybody gets one vote, uh, one state, as it were. Uh, and when you want to change? When you want to change, you just press it. So uh, if, 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 if you want to change from up to down, you press down. And, and it'll take you there. Yes. yes. And that's kind of been one of the beautiful things about being in this class is that people aren't scared to say when they agree or don't agree with something. So <laughs> the pushing 10 times thing is actually something we've been discussing um, ad nauseum at this point um, with the idea of a panic button. If somebody is actually like completely lost and if a group of people are completely lost and enough people push a panic button, the professor would get something that says, okay, I absolutely have to stop because we aren't going to get anywhere after this point. Well, that's right. Well, I, that's one of the things we're trying to figure out is if, is if there's going to be an inactivity in, in period where maybe you get popped back to neutral if you don't report for a long time. But for right now, you're up uh, until you change it. Yeah. 
score? I'm sorry? What's your score? Okay, the score. So this is how this works. Um, um, the score is the sum total of everybody's state. So if you're up, plus one is added to the score. If you're neutral, zero is added to the score. And if you don't understand, minus one is added to the score. So, so right now, the sum of everybody's aggregate understanding or not is 24. I'm sorry, 10. 10, I'm sorry. Yeah. Would it be fun to have everybody right now do a negative just to see what happens if everyone yeah. suddenly goes down? And then to do a positive, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go down. <laughs> I'm thinking. We are so, so oh wow. We got a really unhappy group of people. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is there something we can do to liven the group up and then make everybody push just to? Uh, maybe. To uh oh. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. So maybe when it comes back, we'll be so happy. Maybe. That everyone can push the up button just to see how the tool works. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.